Almost half of all the solar energy that enters the top of the Earth's atmosphere is either reflected back out into space or absorbed by molecules in the atmosphere. The absorption and reflection of energy by the atmosphere not only reduces the total amount of energy reaching the Earth's surface, it also changes the relative amounts of different wavelengths of energy. Solar energy arriving at the top of the atmosphere has a profile that resembles black body radiation from an object with a temperature of about 5,700 Kelvin. The profile of the wavelengths of energy that reach the surface of the Earth looks different. Specifically, no radiation with a wavelength of less than about 300 nanometers reaches the surface meaning something in the atmosphere is selectively filtering out all but the lowest energy UV radiation before it reaches the ground. The removal of damaging, high energy, ultraviolet radiation as it passes through the atmosphere occurs primarily in the stratosphere. It is due to the absorption of ionizing UV radiation by oxygen, resulting in the formation of the ozone layer. Ozone formation starts with the presence of molecular oxygen, that is diatomic oxygen, in the stratosphere. Oxygen absorbs UV radiation with wavelengths of about 300 nanometers and below. This is ionizing radiation, so it has enough energy to split oxygen molecules into individual oxygen atoms, resulting in the formation of two highly reactive oxygen ions. These atomic oxygen ions are unstable, and in order to achieve more energetically favorable electron arrangements, they quickly react with mole molecules of diatomic oxygen to form ozone, a molecule containing three oxygen atoms. These ozone molecules are also able to absorb shortwave UV radiation. When an ozone molecule absorbs UV radiation, it breaks down into a molecule of diatomic oxygen and one free oxygen atom. A small amount of these free oxygen atoms combine with other free oxygen atoms to form more diatomic oxygen, but the majority of them combine with molecules of diatomic oxygen, reforming ozone molecules, allowing the concentration of ozone to remain relatively high in this region. Ozone itself is unstable and breaks down over time, but a steady influx of solar energy continually reforms ozone, and the presence of this ozone prevents harmful ionizing UV radiation from reaching the surface of the Earth. While letting some longer wavelength UV and most of the visible light and infrared radiation through to warm the Earth and support life.